Good getting internet. Um, this has been a really rough time for me. Dicey Dungeons is the game that I've been playing to try and make me forget about this past week. And I felt bad about not uploading anything for the past couple of weeks. And, and the reason why I felt bad isn't because I have an obligation to upload or anything like that. No, it's... Um, it's because I use these videos as a form of creative outlet, and I have been creatively sterile as of late. Because I, I've been such an anxious wreck that I can't create. Um, definitely affected my work and affected my life. Um, it's pretty much a disaster area behind me. I actually did clean up my desk some. You can't see that. I'll get into more detail in a bit, but so I've been playing Dicey Dungeons. Dicey Dungeons is a roguelite roguelike. That is to say that it is a game similar to Rogue, which is a genre-defining game. Um, lots of randomness. Uh, the best way I can describe Rogue is that the most famous roguelike game is Diablo. So Dicey Dungeons is rogue light, which means that it's a more lighthearted and not a whoops you took a step you're dead style of game. But at the same time, it's very random, usually fairly quick to go through the game, and yeah. So I'm going to play as the witch. There are six characters. The sixth character is technically a mild spoiler. I did post a spoiler warning in the comments below, and I'm not going to talk about that character. Um, so we've got, right, to start, you only have the warrior unlocked. And one of the hallmarks of a rogue light game is that you play through the game multiple times to start unlocking more and more content. It's meta progression. So it's not that you're progressing your character, you're progressing everything else. Uh, in this case, I have beaten four different episodes with the warrior. I have beaten two with most of the other characters. Um, Thief and Robot are both two, along with the character I won't be mentioning. Uh, the Inventor is three, and the Witch I have yet to actually win with, because uh, it's listed as five-star difficulty. I actually agree with that one. Uh, the next hardest in my mind is actually the Thief, which is listed as two-star difficulty. And I've actually won with the Thief twice, but that was luck. So we're going to play as the Witch. So I get the option of episodes. Um, if nothing is unlocked, if I haven't beaten it with character yet, I get three different episodes. The Witch Way is standard rules, which is what I'm going to be playing. There's three locked episodes, which require me to win with certain numbers of victories. So the gist of the game is that you are talking with Lady Luck. Lady Luck is running a game show in this case, and I've turned all of our characters into dice. And the object of the game is to win our heart's desire, which I can't remember what it was for the witch. I think it was like having a million subscribers on Instagram or something like that. So this is what the game looks like. Um, you have options where you walk and most of the gameplay is fighting. So first, let's fight the Space Marine. Also, I love the music to this game, especially the final floor is battle music. So. Uh, the witch is very strange in the way it fights. This is probably not the greatest introduction. Let me actually play as a different character. Let's introduce this as the warrior, because that's going to be the easiest way to introduce. I'll just play as the regular one. All right, so the warrior is fairly basic character. And you'll notice that this first floor looks very similar to the other one. The only difference is the order that things are in and what enemies are there. The game is completely randomized. Every time that you play, it is different. And each of the episodes actually have a different set of rules associated with them. This is the normal set of rules reference. Um, I have 24 hit points. I have zero money, which you get one gold per enemy defeated. And usually that's about it. There's... A couple of characters have other ways of getting gold. I am level one, and I level up in two stars. Uh, you Or two XP, I should say. 
and the enemy level is how much XP you get for defeating them. Really simple system. There are six floors total. Uh, the last floor is the boss floor. So really just five floors of enemies. And equipment are things that I have equipped. I start with a sword. A sword is I do the die that I roll of damage. And we'll see what that means in a moment because I'm going to the gardener. Gardener has 12 hit points and two dice. I also have two dice. I rolled a four and a six. I have a fury ability. When I take eight hit points of damage, the fury ability, it's actually one third of my maximum hit points. So when I level up, this will increase. Um, I take one action twice. The moment I have sword, which is my equipment, and I have my ability, which is re-rolling a die. So for instance, I can re-roll. It didn't matter what I rolled there because I already had a six here. So I do six points of damage. Simple enough. Warriors are very simple character. Um, this is gonna suck. So, um, what that was is weaken. Weaken temporarily weakens a random piece of equipment. Given that I have a cat that's trying to eat everything out of the sink, that means that it's only going to affect the sword. My only piece. So the weakened version, I can only put a maximum of five roll there. What I do is re-roll, re-roll, re-roll. Didn't get a five, so I'm gonna hit for four. Really? My luck is terrible, by the way, which is weird as to why I actually like Ruglex. My luck is generally atrocious. Oh, yep. I won the battle because enemy hit points dropped to zero. I gained one XP and one money. And there's a treasure chest behind here. It's a piece of equipment. It's Toxic Ooze, which does the face number of damage. And on a six, it adds two poison. It's very similar to the weaken ability that that bunny used. Only it's poison instead of weaken. Now time to fight a robo bot because it's the only thing I can do. And yes, I could have not attacked the rabbit, but you will hit max level if you fight every enemy. And it's generally to your advantage to hit maximum level. Hold on, I need to make sure Boo Kitty stops eating everything. Right. Oh, I just realized I'm in the way. Here, let me move me over to the other side where I'm not blocking anything. Nice. Hold on a moment. And back and also move myself up because out of the way. Um, because I apparently moved myself off the screen. Anyway, so got two dice. If I get two sixes, I can kill them in one hit. Or one six, and I can use Fury to kill the enemy in one hit. That's not a six. That's still not a six. Do you see what I mean yet by my luck is atrocious? So, either I'm going to let the robot get a round of attacks on me, or I use my Fury ability. Look at the enemy moves. It's going to have three dice, and it can do... Maximum of nine damage to me. I'm going to survive it. And when you level up, you heal up back to full. So I don't need to use my move. I'm not going to. It's not actually possible for the robot to kill me. I'm going to take six. When you get down to critical health, you get to hear this. Your heartbeat. But that's fine because the robot's dead now. The robo bot. Pew! Pew 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 pew! I'll get you next time, you big dice. Bzzz. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I leveled up. My maximum hit points increased by four. In addition, I receive an extra die. Basically how this game's played. Um, you could definitely tell I really needed the 60 FPS recording on this, can't you? Uh, even though Steam tells me the game is running at 60 FPS, I think it runs at, like, 2 or FPS. Anyway, um, this runs on pretty much everything. So, this is health, healing. Healing's based off of what floor I'm on. And this is a shop. And Boo Kitty is eating things out of the sink. One moment. Back once more, I have swapped cats because I can't deal with Boo right now. My zone. Okay. <sighs> I personally tend to go toward treasure first. I'm gonna fight Stereo Head. 
So Stereo Head's weak against Shock. I don't have anything that does Shock damage, so it's not going to be very helpful. That works. Let's go ahead and use our Fury. It'll allow us to do effectively 20 damage one round. Because, first off... Or sorry, 22 damage. So I dealt 12 damage to Stereo Head and then added 4 Poison. Poison causes them to lose that amount of health every round. And each time Poison's used, the number ticks down by 1. So, they'll take 4, and now they have 3 Poison. And I get weakened for 1. That's fine. Yeah, that's not a big deal. I can kill them right now. Like that. Simple enough. And my loot is a bump. So, I have to equip these objects in my equipment area. And some things are two in size and some things are one in size. Bump is one. And some things, if I upgrade, will actually shrink in size. Sword, for instance, the upgraded version of Sword just takes up one slot instead of two. I don't really need the health. I'm gonna fight the wizard now. Okay. Best I can do, I don't need to re-roll anything. So the wizard's ability is that they take the die and use one of their six spells. They only get one die, though. So they're not actually that threatening, although all of their spells are really good. Like for instance, these are now locked. Only can be able to unlock one of them. So there's no reason for me not to unlock Toxic Ooze, because it's strictly better than Sword right now. And there's nothing else I can do. I'm unlocking this. They rolled another four, so I'm going to have two things shocked again. That's fine, they're dead on my turn. Okay. That. We roll that. We roll that. Not great, but it's lethal. I win. Leveled up. In four more hit points. And I get either a spike shield, which takes up two slots... A uh, maximum of five could be placed there, and even numbers deal that much damage, odd numbers gain that much shield, which is effectively, it prevents that much damage being dealt to me. Or a boomerang, which it does two times whatever number is there to the enemy, but I take that much damage. Um, really, I don't like either of these. I'm gonna take the boomerang in this case, because it actually fits. Oh, there was a shop there, I shouldn't have. Okay. Broadsword is really nice. So is Target Shield. Boomerang's garbage. Hell, because it's only worth one. Um, I'm not going to be able to afford both of these. Unfortunate. I'm gonna tank Rod Sword. Let's fight a pirate. So I can't go back up previous floors. Really nice set of rolls. That's even better. Um can I kill them in one hit or one round? Yes. Yeah, if I Fury, I can kill them this round. Dead. It's generally worth trying to kill them without taking any damage, even using up your Fury. Uh, although, I had a healing. Oh, it's based off of your level, not the floor. Good to know. So, 3 plus your level is how much healing you get. Um, so, I have two coins. Can't afford anything else in the shop other than another boomerang. And why? Okay. There's treasure there. There's an upgrade there. I think I'm going to go toward the upgrade first in this case. Oh, uh, no. I should have gone for the treasure first. Oh, well. So, Yeti's weak against fire, which, once more, I don't have that element. The only element I can do damage on is 
you know, poison. Roll. Roll. We roll. Eh. Not terrible. Did half of their hit points and damage. Doing more because of the poison. So, this was a bad roll. Because they now froze all of my dice. What frozen dice mean is that regardless of what you roll, it drops to a 1. So, all three of these are going to need to be re-rolled. Okay. That's actually lethal. Weird slowdown. Lethal because of the one point of poison. That will cause them to take damage. The end. I actually want to see this. The Dryads are strong against poison, so however much poison damage I do is halved. It doesn't do, and this particular attack doesn't do poison damage on its own, it's just adding poison. So I can still use it, it's still better than sword. So I might as well do that, because poison two will still do one point of damage. Or, so that's something here, let me show you and explain. Um, so this is what's called a countdown. Um, namely, you keep throwing dice into it until it drops to zero, then the effect goes off, which can be really nasty. I, I mean, the Dryad's dead this turn, but it can be really nasty. And I leveled up again. This time I get another extra die. All right, what's in here? A spatula. Flips a die upside down. Okay. I... Whip. Thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Sword plus just does an extra point of damage. So it's strictly worse than the broadsword. Uh, all of these do plus one damage, basically. Not what I really want. I'm actually going to save that for a moment and see if I can buy something from the shop that'll do better for me. Oh, once more, strong against poison. Oh, that worked poorly. left to do. So this game actually only natively plays in 720p. Oh, wow, I look really red with the reflections, and this is one of my worst cameras. Fortunately, I took a lot of poison damage. And I take them out. Holes like that? Probably not. So let's see, that's four, or that's um, 16 damage there. Yeah, I can take them out with Fury. Can I take them out without? 12, 13, 14, 15, no. Worth. Here we go. Death did. There's plenty of healing around, so that's not a problem. All right. Yes, there's much better things that I could buy. So, the left and right one are effectively the same. It's either I do one point of poison damage, or I do shock damage. Shock dam- eh, not shock- oh, it does do shock damage, but it shocks the enemy, which locks out one of their abilities. I was getting shocked earlier, that's why I had to throw a die in to unlock. Alternately, I can actually defend myself. I think I'm gonna do. Oh, I can actually afford two of them. Let's do that. And then I think upgrading buckler, yeah, it makes it cheaper. Upgrading taser allows me to use a larger die. I'll upgrade taser in this case. And let's get rid of the sword. 
as in taser, add in buckler. Bunkini? Huh? Let's fight the evil vacuum with. That's some terrible roll. And it's staying terrible. I've got A6, that's better than nothing. Um Blood suck got shocked. Fortunately, I'm blind this time. The shocked in it. So blind, what that means is that I don't know what these numbers are. You know what this one is, though. You know what this one is. The three. That was a four. Oh well. And they're dead, so it doesn't matter. I wasn't paying attention. A zone. Yeah, I might as well heal. What's my loot? Hammer. Would have been nice early. So, fight the snowman. This is a trader. What they do is that they trade one of your piece of equipment for another one. But it's always static as to what they will trade. It could be good, it could be terrible, and worth it. a really nice roll. In fact, that's actually the highest roll possible for me. That actually does stuff. There we go. That was a pretty good first turn. So... No man can only do things on odd numbers. So I took six damage and got two frozen. And it will always freeze the highest numbers first. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Continue that. Continue that. Let's get a shield. I probably did have lethal now that I'm looking. Oh well. That's yeah, fine. I'm gonna be taking five this turn. Having three dice frozen. I can survive that. If I can roll above a one. Oh yep, the next enemy will Give me four XP and then I will level up. Be fine. Uh, let's see. I can trade my broadsword for a whip. So broadsword does two extra points of damage, but the whip will actually inflict burn. What burn does is um, a die will be lit on fire. If you were to use or touch that die in any way, you have to take two points of damage before you can use it. So, in theory, it does the same amount of damage. So I would rather have the broadsword. Usually those deals end up pretty bad for some I don't know why. Let's fight Crystalina. Not too bad of a roll. Rerolling can use some work. You know what? Let's go ahead and get a buck for this. It's Crystalina. Yeah, it does random things. Ooh, those are some high rolls. That's not a good sign. You get Fire Crystal. Ice Crystal. Okay, that could have been worse. That's better. Perfect. Okay. So, oh, 16 plus 6, 2 plus 5 is 27. I can't do lethal this turn. Not worth it for me to fury.
Yeah, I could have gotten them down to five and that was it. Wouldn't it be worth it. Not what I wanted to talk. Ow. Ow. Uh, luckily I'm leveling up enough. See? It cost me hit points to not die. Can I do lethal damage? 10 10. Yes, I can. And I don't need to do anything special. And they die from the poison. I heal up. Uh, level 6 is maximum level for reference. Ooh! So I either get a shield bash, which I do whatever my shield rating is. Or. Yeah, I really don't understand how shield bash works. You have to roll doubles, and you do shield damage. So I don't know if that means that you damage and also get shield. Or you do up to your shield worth of damage, because it's... Anyway. I'm just upgrading anyway. I'm gonna upgrade my buckler, because I can use more defense. Go to the final floor. And this is the floor that has my favorite combat music. Or, final before boss, I should. I'm here... Roll. We roll. Roll? Ugh. Not the greatest. I dealt decent damage, though. That's not too bad. Their roll was pretty bad. They're gonna be able to blind me. And that's it. Oh, no. They can do one point of damage. Which I had shield. You'll notice shield actually carries over. I do have two blind though, which is that's a great. Let's go ahead and fury. At aha, so this didn't let me use it in the taser because it needs a five or less, which means that this is a six. Bang. I can't quite do lethal. I'm one point off of being able to do lethal. But I was going to be one point off no matter what I did, so. That was a one. Oh well. Well, I didn't roll a four, so I don't have to get cursed. That's good. Alright, I have to do two points of damage. after the Rat King. Rat King can be very dangerous in certain situations. The reason why the Rat King is strong against poison is because everything it does poisons. So basically each of these are five countdown timers. When it goes off, it inflicts a poison. Um, and it rolls another die. So as long as the Rat King can keep up the fives, which keeps in mind it has three dice, it can keep poisoning me. So that can be very nasty. Might as well take the poison damage. Get tased. And camera? And key right there. I would expand my camera in that direction a little bit, except that I think the green screen. Let me take a look. Oh yeah, that's as far as I can expand. So you can see a little bit. Anyway. Derp. End turn. Ow. Gonna be a shoulder kitty? I can really use a shoulder kitty right now. You see what I mean by it could be very nasty? 
I've gotten poisoned for five this turn. And that's only because I shocked them. Otherwise, I would have been poisoned for six. And poison ignores shield. So my shield is basically worthless. That's why I didn't bother throwing anything to it. That was significant. I just had extra dice at the end. Yeah. Might as well get poisoned. Shock. All right, that's a lower roll at least, but it's still gonna suck. There's one poison, two poison, three poison. Yep, just three, okay. And that's lethal. All right, and my reward here is a detonator. Do one point of damage for every poison on an enemy. That could be really nice. I have to use an even number to do it. Probably not worth it right now. If I had more poison stuff, it would be great. I only have toxic ooze though. So this will only do like two to four, uh, one to three damage usually. It's not worth it right now. Let's fight a loud bird. Okay, I did get a six at least. Yeah, Loud Bird has the ability to silence you, which removes your own ability, which is terrible. Can dodge, which is annoying, and Echo Blast, which weakens your attacks. It's not great. Nope, Zone Kitty decided to leave. First off, poison. Gah. Okay, you did get doubles, so I'm gonna be silenced. And then we get to great. So, I have to use two dice to eat up the silence. I have to use, or I have to use a maximum of three for broadsword and a maximum of three for taser. This is pretty bad. So, might as well do that. Not what I wanted. <sighs> and they got doubles again. Anyway, King this time. Those two. Cool. Can't poison. Can I do lethal if I get my dice right? Yes. So, can I do lethal without? No, you're effectively at 14 because you're being poisoned twice. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No. I actually have to reroll in order to be able to do lethal means this is worth doing. One, two, three. I can still do lethal by using fury, so it wasn't that big. Because that's lethal. And it would have been lethal without that last attack. I just didn't want to use up fury. I'd like to save it for a boss. Another upgrade. Yeah, let's do another upgrade. Get a better broadsword. And fight Gargoyle for our last fight before the boss. So yeah, um... Both my mother and grandfather in respective 
healthcare facilities right now. Um, yuck. A lock die means I just can't use it. Um, so yeah, there was a distinct possibility at the end of last week that I would have one family member left, um, that is of parents and grandparents, and for that matter, I've lost a couple of uncles, even. Uh, losing that much in potentially one week has not been great on my psyche. Lovely. That. That concerns about the damage. Ooh. Slightly better. Uh. Hang on, why couldn't you roll a two? Great, I have two dice locked. That's not good. A five, though. to figure out, uh, I think shock actually makes sense right. Two ones. So all I have are two lock dice. That's easy. I mean, I don't roll garbage. Yeah, it's not. That's actually... I don't know why I bothered with that last reroll. I level up. I'm now at max level. My last level, I gain an extra die. We can do one final upgrade. We'll upgrade the other thing I'm using. There's health. Don't need it. Don't buy anything. Let's go for the boss. This boss is Madison. It's been a while since I fought the Girl Scout. The final floor. It just has a boss on it. Sometimes there'll also be a treasure chest if there's something specific for a boss. Um. So yeah, I don't want to go into details as to why I have both a grandfather and mother in medical facilities. One's technically in um, long-term care at the moment, or longer-term care. We don't even know if he's going to be able to come back. And my mom should be out by this weekend, hopefully. Both went in for emergency reasons. Not doing so great. I've had very little focus this week, and and I even took a day off because I knew it would have been impossible for me to actually focus on anything. Because I spent the entire weekend just worrying. Alright, this is really scary to me. So, Madison is immune to freezing. Good thing I don't have any freezing attacks. Um... Each time that Madison uses Campfire, this gets more powerful. And it's going to burn a die every time. That's going to be painful. Chocolate Cookies also cause Madison to repeat an attack. And Pocket Knife is a repeatable version of my broadsword, basically. If she uses it three times, it's going to do about the same amount of damage as broadsword. At least slightly more, mostly. Excuse me. Slightly more, most likely. It would do the same if she got three twos. But Madison's fairly powerful. On the plus side, I'm at full hit points with five dice. Let's go. That'll work. My last die is kind of useless right now. Oh, well. So I shocked her campfire. That's good. You can only use it once. She was only going to be able to use it once. Three pocket knife attacks. That's not too bad. You burned one die. Once more. Not that bad. Nice. 
go ahead and Fury. They both do the same amount of damage overall, so I'm going to that, that, and that. I'm actually going to eat the damage. Reason being is that it adds four shield, whereas taking the damage was two damage. So I took two damage to gain four shield. That's generally worth. Fire shocked again. That's good. Madison does a lot of damage, so I was a little concerned. Um, this don't need to re-roll anymore. And Madison's gone. That's it. That's a run. Admittedly, this is the easiest possible run. Baby Squid is a replacement, um, for spoiler reasons. Okay, okay, I've got one more can, so I'm going to be so careful here. Wheel is spinning! Have you won? You haven't won! Here, do you think I did okay? Oh, whoops, forgot to press the button. So the stick is that you spin a wheel and you could get your prize of your dreams, but you're always stuck in the dungeon. Always. Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Hey, baby squid. Oh, that indicates that I have won a round of warrior. I'm gonna go ahead and play this again, this time as the witch. Hopefully I will remember to put a time code when I upload this to YouTube. Um, I really, I sort of like the concept of witch, but eh, I definitely prefer robot. Um, inventor's fun. So I should probably describe the differences between these, shouldn't I? Um, so thief. Thief, rather, and so the rolling, re-rolling ability is the special ability on the warrior. Um, thief's special ability, instead of re-rolling, is um, taking the ability from one of the enemies. So, like, all of the, like, enemy attack things that we saw whenever I previewed, the thief randomly takes one of those as their own ability. And have really crappy starting equipment for some reason. Because I'm taking their enemy abilities, some of the enemy abilities are really handy. Uh, my favorite one happens to be from Alchemist, though. Alchemist has a bunch of potions, and one of the potions that an alchemist has, alchemist enemy that is, is a potion that heals them and turns them into a bear. You can take this, heal yourself, turn yourself into a bear. You're a bear for the rest of the game. You're no longer a thief, you're a bear. Bear is my favorite character. All fuzzy and... It looks like a fuzzy D20 with barriers. It's pretty cute. Um, robot. Robot's special ability is that you don't roll dice to start. What you have is a CPU level that starts at 9 and increases as time goes on. And you press a button to gain another die. And it will, like, whatever you roll will get added to your CPU count. Uh, if you go over your CPU count, you lose all of your abilities for that turn. So basically, you can generate a die and use it, generate a die and use it. So low rolls are not necessarily bad. They just give you more things. Um, if you go over, you can't do much. Um, there's one ability that you can if you bust. And if you get exactly, you gain a jackpot, which gives you some type of boon. All you have to do is manipulate dice, and you can do what you want. So robot's really fun. Inventor's special ability is that you have a gadget. And this gadget is a fairly powerful can use every round ability, but you throw away your gadget at the end of every combat and you have to use up one piece of equipment that you were using for that combat to turn it into a new gadget. So you keep, like, you keep losing equipment, but at the same time, you have more equipment gains as enter. Which, on the other hand, is weird. Ah. Pretty soon. So the witch has a spell book rather than equipment, and you get four different spells aside, um, that can be active at a time. In your spell book, you can learn six spells. So you start with Cauldron, which is you do one point of damage and you reroll a die, and infect Infliction, which does three points of damage. It doesn't matter what number you put in there, it does three. You can also preview the upgrades, where the upgraded version does four, and the upgraded Cauldron just lets you use it twice. The main thing, though, and do I want to start? Yeah, I'll start with Cauldron. Ooh, 
Two pieces of equipment. That's it. Maybe the witch has more. Oh yeah, I forgot. Crystal Ball lets you have three extra dice. Um, so what I can do is that I'm going to gain an Affliction this turn. Another Cauldron. See? That's kind of how the Witch works. So Space Marine just has a countdown timer for its attack. As long as I kill it before the countdown timer goes, the Space Marine's not exactly threatening. I didn't kill it this turn. Oh yeah, and I could also throw spare dice for one point of damage. But the countdown timer is not expiring this turn, so this is not a problem. No matter what I do, the Space Marine. That throw a die. One part is if the dice are on fire, you actually do two damage instead of one with the dice because you're throwing flaming dice. I like that it actually keeps track of that. And I find spells rather than equipment. But yes, we're going to learn Magic Shield. I'm going to learn it in slot four. The reason why I'm learning it in slot four is that its ability, its effect, is an odd-numbered thing. So I would rather ha use up a four, which is a number that I can't use for the Magic Shield, and then use the Magic Shield. I don't know if that's proper strategy or not. Also, apparently, it's Crazy Cat Hour. My face is so red from reflection from the monitor. Okay. That... Roll a die. Uh, no. Not worth it. And throw a die. Frogs are actually fairly powerful because they have shield and broadsword. You saw me using broadsword last time. You saw me gaining shield last time. So I have to do five points of damage to kill the frog, which isn't going to be a problem. be going through this one a little faster. So, on my level up, I can either gain Ice Shard or Electric Shock. Um, usually I take Ice Shard. I think I'm going to take Electric Shock this time. I will turn it in slot three. What did I gain? Nudge. So this takes a die and reduces it by one. It's not a great ability, but my spell book's empty right now, so... Might as well learn it. Ooh, witch versus wizard, who shall win? I feel like I should center myself over here. Um. Not a great set. Five. Oh, they're dodging my next attack. Not a big deal. The witch has a lot of weak attacks, so it's not really that big of a deal in my mind. Let's get another infliction out. Why not? We'll dodge that attack, which means the die goes away in port. So maybe I didn't need the infliction now that I think about it. Four. You're shocking me. Great. Go ahead and crystal. I get enough dice to do things. And nine point inch. I really don't understand the wizard with the socks getting knocked off. And I get shocked again. Great. The problem with the witch is that I don't really do that much damage. If I didn't get shocked, I would have been able to do something. Oh, I have Crystal Ball again. 
not gonna worry about it because die. But took a huge amount of damage. I gained Hall of Mirrors. Hall of Mirrors is the, actually the wizard had this spell. Uh, it lets you gain an extra die for the rest of the fight. Useful for certain situations, but I don't really find it that great. Because you're sacrificing one die. Do it. I need all the help I can, you know? In a magic shield. Oh. Electric shot for six. A different for no zone. Zone, no. Just throw this. Oh, I've been frozen. Frozen doesn't really affect me that much in this case. It'd be nice if I would have had a six, but. Go ahead and add shield because I'm not taking hits very well right now. New number. Not a useful number. Go ahead and take four. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna take four, which is actually one point of damage. Burning. I level up after this, don't I? Yeah, I do. So as long as I do enough damage, this is a new number. That's a better number. Water? Not what I wanted. I can't do enough damage to kill them. Because I could get another infliction and then use this on the infliction. But that's the same amount of damage as just throwing dice twice. You're shocked. Okay, so I'm taking five. That sucks. Luckily, I should heal this time. It doesn't matter. You're dead from that. I do heal, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, I level up. So, I either upgrade a spell slot or gain another prepared spell slot. Um, I'm going to take the upgrade this time. Last time I took repaired because I didn't realize what that meant. Um, at the start, remember that I have one spell? Well... Getting another prepared slot means that I can start with two spells, and I get to choose which of those, those two spells it is. The upgraded slot, on the other hand, sounds better in my mind. So, now I have one slot that is upgraded. What is Hall of... Oh yeah, Hall of Mirrors upgrade is a lot better. That's just even numbers rather than a six specifically. Let's go fight Baby Squid. really need magic shield right now. I'm going to take it anyway. I only did one damage that round, which is not great. Ow. But I got extra dice, so I was really just li lining myself up for this. I didn't get another cauldron out. Give me more dice. Those are not the dice that I was looking for. Uh, I re-roll that. Also not the dice I was looking for. Give me another cauldron. Reroll that. Seriously. What I'm looking for is a two or a three.
Get another dice next round. That was a pretty bad roll. Luckily, I'm being blinded once and taking no damage because I have shield. Whatever it was was an odd number, so that's fine. Um, drop that to a three so I can get electric shock. That's actually what I wanted. Oh, I should have done it over on the Hall of Mirrors. It just dawned on me. Oh. Well. Five is worthless to me. Six is much better. Get another die. Can. And go ahead and throw down an affliction on the magic sheet. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Okay, not as bad as I. It's still gonna hurt. Ow. Okay. the upgraded version. Yeah, it's any number. That's what I thought it was. Dead. Luckily, I can heal up. What's for sale? Magic key allows me to split a dice in half. Split a die... I know that dice could be used for singular or plural, but it's bothering me. Uh, Magic Dagger just lets me throw dice at things to do two damage each, which is not terrible, but not great. Although upgraded, I think that's not too bad. I wish I could see what the upgrades were. Uh, Magic Missile is really nice. Although I already have something that does damage on even numbers. I don't really need another thing that does damage on even I'm thinking Dagger and Magic. Buy Magic Dagger. Get rid of Nudge, because I don't like Nudge. Do I also want a Magic Key? I would have to give up one of my spells from it. I don't want to. I mean... Infliction plus... Or, Infliction's not bad. Yeah, what does Magic Dagger... One extra damage. Which is... Nothing to sneeze at. Please, let's get shock action. Sure, grab another cauldron. Throw it there. That's fine. More electric shock. Not great. Four. Magic shield. Not the worst idea. Not what I was looking for. Definitely not what I was looking for. do nine damage. Currently I'm doing seven. No, I'm doing nine. I'm fine. Actually doing ten. Fury spell repeats next attack. 
to upgrade a fury spell. I wish I can preview the upgrade of fury spell. I'd do that instead of Hall of Mirrors. It's not worth it. Heal up. Um, so it just dawned on me that I'm gonna have to fight the cactus still. Oh well. Run against poison. Don't care. Shock. Hot one out. All of mirrors, on the other hand, is what I wanted. Affliction. That's fine. Yep, I'm taking three poison. I can deal with it. Um, another six. You roll that. Shield this turn. Apparently getting one anyway. For an infliction there. Two four. Give me another die next. I'm getting my poison. Nope, not this round. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah. That levels me up. Double dice or duplicate? Uh, I think duplicate's better. I don't have dice manipulation right now, except for Hall of Mirrors. I think I will actually learn it over Hall of Mirrors. I haven't used Magic Dagger at all. Maybe I should actually just throw it in Magic Dagger instead. Yeah, buying Magic Dagger was probably a mistake. What are my options here? Fury Spell, I already ignored that one. Um, this one is Skeleton Key, sets all dice to be X. No. How about things for sale? Healing Rat, which is inflicting a poison and rolling new dice. Interesting, I didn't realize I could pick up Rat. Aw. Could replace Infliction with it. Although fives are fairly high numbers. Infliction, I can just throw whatever I want at it. But I think I will a brat. What is the upgraded version of Rat anyway? Oh, it gives you a three or higher die. Interesting. I could have just replaced Cauldron, it's just done, done. In fact, I'm gonna throw a rat there now. I don't need both Cauldron and Rat, they kind of serve the same purpose. I don't remember what Duplicate Upgraded does. Oh, it's just duplicate any die. Well, that was dumb. Oh well. Because I could just do that and be exactly where I was before. Ooh, infinite loop, I just realized. Inked. Do the dumb thing first, okay. Now, what do I actually want to do with my turn? Electric shock is a good plan. Throw it there. What am I getting? Five. Okay. Yeah. 
Six damage. I want a Hall of Fairs. No. Throw it. So thorns mean that I take one damage if, for every time I attack them. Or is it just if I attack? I don't remember which now. Let's get some more dice out. Uh, no sixes, which is annoying. I do have a five, though. Let's throw a five out there first. I get another five back, of course. Um... These dice do not help me. Get more rats, and that's it. Let's go ahead and duplicate two here. I don't need a two. Duplicate a five. Duplicate another five. Pull out rat and throw it here. Oh, this is why I need to duplicate rat. Because I don't have anything to do with most of my dice. Um, throw in a cauldron here for the time being. Too many fives. Four is just about as good as a five. Lovely. We'll do that. Magic shield, throw down here. Shield, throw down here. And throw the last five. That was not so great. Okay. get two fives. Two fives don't really help me at all, other than two damage instead of one. Better than nothing, right? Ow. Alright, I only need to do four damage. Done. Technically, I only need to do two. Why can't I do better? What am I doing wrong? I'm sorry, Cactus. I'm not trained for this. I'm just a plant. Poor cactus. Bad for the cactus. Oh right, I'm very heavily injured. And I have a ways to go. Okay, final check. I <sighs> don't really care about either of those. Let's go to the next. Oh good, healing. Sucks that I'm using all of that healing now, but I've got a while before I level. It is weak to fire. Well, I don't have any fire abilities. crystal ball. Those are terrible numbers for a crystal ball. Aldrin. Reroll some of those, please. Really? Ugh. That'll have to do. Get four dice next turn, at least. Okay. I'm getting two dice for us. Yeah. That hurt. Yeah, it did. Luckily, I can cauldron. Get some better numbers. But not much better at this rate. I can do one shock. 
And that's it. Yeah, he has more points. Head. Car. Plus item crystal balling really frequently. Yeah. We roll the one. One. We roll the five. Nice. Place electric shock. Yep. Place electric shock again. That's lethal. There we go. And part of the reason why I like this game is kind of puzzle like. I have to think a little bit, but not a huge amount. X. First weekend, I'm not. Terrible. I want right. Usually, I end up dying uh, with the witch. I end up dying over here. With the thief, I was usually dying on the first round. I've had far more failures and successes with the thief. Okay. Aurora, right? Aurora is the one that's going to start locking dice. Okay. The best way to deal with not having my dice locked is to make more dice. Not really what I want to do. Ah. Dang it, I could have thrown that down. Oh well. We're just prepping for next turn. I'm gonna have at least two dice locked. No, just one. Sorry. Math is hard. Okay. Look at the four. Drop that down. Shock twice. Can't do anything with lock die, so. Because shocking twice will make that harder. And we'll just cause a mood change. One lock die. Actually, it was a six, but oh well. I can duplicate, it's fine. But it's not worth it. I'm in trouble. Oh, it went off the side of the screen. Interesting. Gaming crystal. Get the six. Twelve that way. What number do I get from... A six. Okay. That's a no brainer. That's my highest amount of damage. Can't get magic. That's my only chance of healing was magic shield. Duplicate that. Electric shock there. Electric shock. At least doing... Eight. I'm getting him down to seven. But two hits will kill me? Yeah, two hits will kill me, and two hits are really likely. Pretty sure I'm just dead. One, yep, two hit. That's it. See? I always have problems with this bitch. Oh well. Anyway, that's been Dicey Dungeons. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Hopefully less filled with anxiety. I can only pretend to be normal for short periods of time. Bye, Internet.